Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we are looking at shapeshift os based on android 10 this custom rom took inspiration from all the different uis like oxygen os one ui etc and implemented their best features into one and hence making it one of the perfect rom but is it really that good as it sounds and can it be used as a daily driver we will be looking out for that in this video before that make sure to subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon Starting with the home screen, we have OnePlus Launcher as a default launcher. Swipe left, you will find Google Feeds, which will give all the latest news and updates. Never Settle Clock Widget is also present here. You can also find hidden space in the app drawer to hide any apps you want to. And yep, it is password protected. Recent panel is also straight up taken from the Oxygen OS. App icons are located in the bottom, you can scroll through it to switch between the apps. To lock or unlock the app, press and hold on any of the apps and tap on lock to keep the app in memory. Now the notification panel is inspired from Android R and it looks much cleaner than before. Notifications are divided into two groups, alerting and silenced. Alerting notification contains notification from different messaging and mailing apps. Silent notification contains other apps notification. You can also change the category of notification by simply long pressing on a particular notification and selecting the desired category. We also have separate advanced control app where we can tweak the vibration, flash intensity and display colors. Then we have Dolby audio app where you can tweak the audio but it tends to force close. Moving on to settings, we have basic USB customization options under Shapeshifter, through which you can customize the status bar, lock screen, notification, LED, and lot more. Button customization is present under the system section. Then there is one UI toggle which will enable the extended UI, but only in settings app. If you want full system wide extended UI, then you must check out the send and OS. I will make sure to drop a link to it in the description section below. Now coming to the performance, the phone performs as good as other Android 10 ROMs. Day to day task is working like a breeze. Gaming performance is also on par with other ROMs. Camera 2 is working. I am using hyper camera and there is no force closed issues as such. Other common stuffs like Volt T, fingerprint, face and lock, everything is working like a charm. Of course, video over LTE is not present here, which is quite common to other Android 10 ROMs. You can use WhatsApp or Google Meet instead. I have been using this ROM for around a week and I can easily recommend this to anyone who wants stability and some really useful feature. This is one of the best ROM I had tried in recent times and yeah, it can be used as a daily driver. For installation, simply wipe system data cache and install the ROM zip file in Magisk, then reboot the device and you are good to go. If you are already on Android 10 ROM then you can also dirty flash the ROM, though clean flash is always recommended. That's been it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, also check out some other ROM videos we had a whole playlist for it. Till then, thanks for watching, I will catch you guys in the next one.